random variable x is normally distributed with mean equal to 150 and standard deviation equal to 10. Find the interquartile range of x. Okay, first thing we need to know is that the interquartile range is the middle 50% of the data, which is equal to uh, the 75th percent minus the 25th percent of the data. Okay, remember these values can be represented by quartiles. So 75% is quartile 3, and 25% is quartile 1. Right, so we want to find, uh, in order to find the interquartile range, we need to know what values go with the 75th percent. So uh, what x value goes with quartile 3, and what x value goes with quartile 1. Okay, so if we think about it a little bit, this is uh, sort of a classic case of an inverse normal. We know what percentage we're looking for, we just don't know the x value. So we're trying to see probability that x is less than um, some value uh, is 0 0.25. Uh, how should I write this actually? Probability that x um, is less than some value, let's say x, mm, how about Ah, I got it. How about x, x1 for quartile 1? is less than some value x is equal to 0 0.25. And the probability that x3 for quartile 3, less than some value x, is equal to 0 0.75. Okay, so what we're going to do is go into our distribution on the calculator. So that's second vars. And we want inverse normal. And we're going to say area. So this is what percent of the data is below, um, or what percent of the data are we looking at? So in this case, we're looking at 25%. Uh, so that's 0.25 we put in there. We know that the mean is 150, that's given, just as the standard deviation is also given, that is 10. Okay, so we put this in, and we see what x value corresponds with 25% of the data, that is uh, 143. So we can say x1 equals 143.25, etc. And I'm not rounding yet um, because we're going to need this value later. So what I'm actually going to do is store this value on the calculator to say a. So that when I type in a later, it'll type in all these numbers for me and I won't need to remember them. Okay, so A is going to be all these numbers. Let's do the same thing now for X3, our, our third quartile. So we run inverse normal again. This time the area is 0.75, 75%, but the mean and standard deviation are the same. So we get X3 equal to 156. Uh, Okay, and again, I'm going to save this, this time to a different letter, let's say to B. Okay, so now the interquartile range, I just need to take uh, X3 minus X1. So on the calculator, it's just going to be B minus A. Okay, and we get a value. Now we can round, because this is our final answer, we can round to three significant figures. That'll be 13.5.